Welcome back everybody or welcome if you are new today we're in the Arca series here at a road course I'm terrible at saying this kind of like uh, circuit name I'm like names that aren't like since like easy English to say I'm so bad at but we're car six here we got Kevin out here Barry out here Chad out here we got Aiden out here as well bunch of fast guys we race with on oval all the time but uh, definitely have a lot of names I don't recognize here because of uh, the road course racing so we'll see what we can do we're gonna try to lay down a couple qualifying laps in uh, qualifying times gonna be around like 143 to 145 for us as long as I don't screw up the lap and get like a 1x or spin out or something but uh, the fast guys are in like the 140s which is crazy so I have to get around to start our lap we only got five minutes to do two laps and it's gonna take like all that time I think we're only really gonna get one clean lap in I don't even know if we're gonna finish the second lap so I'm gonna get out there real fast try to do our uh try to get around to start our lap and uh, we'll see how it goes all right we're coming around to, to about take the green flag we're hitting this last s corner right now and uh we'll do as good as we can for this i don't know how it's gonna go or anything i just want to qualify because we're kind of a higher number and uh i don't want to start all the way in the back and just get like piled up into a wreck which would suck but being up here we still could get piled into a wreck like pretty easy accidentally locked up the right front there that's not good at all this first two corners right here are so tough they're like so sharp it's crazy i literally just bought this track today too like i did not know the track layout at all i think i've seen one race on this before gavin reminded me like uh xfinity ran here before i'm like oh that's probably where i somewhat recognize this track like the the u-turn for a long straightaway that's the only part of this thing i remembered this track is so difficult, though. It's not meant for a stock car by any means, but it is fun. Oh, jeez. That's going to slow us down significantly. Because this is a pretty fast straightaway right here. So we lost a lot of time right there, which is fine. Not necessarily trying to do amazing, or I don't expect to do amazing, I'll say. I, we're doing the best we can. Hit too much of that curbing down there, the white curb. I didn't want to get on gas because we were like lifted up a little bit yeah this is like the only part of the track I actually recognize is this u-turn to the fast straightaway literally the only part of it that I recognize and it's probably because Xfinity ran here but we'll see if we even get our oh I don't even know if we're gonna be able to get our second lap in we're already at a minute 45 left yeah we're probably not gonna finish the second lap so we'll get as far as we can on that uh, but this is probably gonna be our one and only lap Try and send it down here. Really sent that thing. Didn't hit the wall at least. I had to like not get on throttle to not lose it. Because there's no way we're uh, finishing a second lap. Aiden got a 141. Absolutely flying. Yeah, 145. I'll take that. That's not terrible. The fastest I got down to like was like a 143.9. So barely a 143. So I'll take a 145. Okay. About losing it. Okay, still about losing it. <laughs> I need to get off the throttle. Jeez, okay, and we are like one of the slowest qualifiers too, which is completely fine. So at least we put that a lap. I'm happy about that. I didn't just start in the back for no reason. It's uh, We're starting in the back because we're slow. But yeah, they're down in the 140s, 141s, which is crazy. We're definitely not going to finish this lap, and it wouldn't be faster anyways with how we already started this one. But might as well get the practice on it. But my tires are so heated up. I need to take it easy in the race and not go as hard as we are right now. Because I'm trying to take some of these corners a lot faster than you probably should. Or I'm just not good at it in general. The only good thing is that we just ran the Gen 4 at Watkins Glen. So we have a little bit of road racing in this style of car. Less horsepower, but same style of car at a road course. Which is uh, fun. Very difficult, but fun. I like uh, when things are very difficult. It is uh, entertaining to me. It's a challenge. But yeah, we're starting way back there. I think it's only a 15, 16 car field and we're 10th. I think we're the slowest qualifiers. Oh, no, we're not. Okay, and that's the end of it. So, <laughs> didn't even get to finish our laps. Nobody got to finish a second lap, obviously. So, we're going to be starting 10th here out of a 15 car field. Only like 30, 31 people registered for this thing. So, it's going to be absolutely crazy. All right, we're getting ready to roll off here. I think we're like over halfway through this track. I think like going to the uh, long straightaway right here or something like that. So... We should be able to take the green flag pretty quickly, which is nice. We don't have to go like an entire pace lap or anything. Yeah, this is just after that U-turn behind us. Okay, cool. We don't have too long to uh, pace at least. 
I hope people can't take it a little easy though, like the very beginning, because uh, everybody's gonna be piling into the first corner. It's gonna be nuts. It's gonna be very terrifying. We got Kevin right next to us. Great, good luck to you, Kevin. I hope we don't take you out or you take us out either. Or if if we do, it's fine. I'm not even. If I get taken out, I'm not even gonna be mad about it. Uh, because I don't care about my road I rate at all. All this goes on your road ratings and stuff like that. Pace car is in. Let's try not to get a 1x to start with. <laughs> and leaders are going. We got really spread out there, which is nice. I am happy with that. Try not to lock it up so we don't slide further. Kevin's staying behind. I wasn't sure if he was going to. Because he, uh, he looked like he was taking it a lot faster than we do. Which is fine. This is a short shoot, so I didn't want to get too wide right there. Because this S is uh, not probably preferable to be too wide through. It's a very tight corner. There will be people making mistakes, though, I imagine. Like, running each other over and whatnot. But who knows? Maybe we'll just get a real clean race. Everybody being real respectable. Not sure. I want to try and uh, save our rear tires a little bit and not slide it around as much as we were in the uh, qualifying because that was awful. Just so we have a little bit more control over the car and we don't go sliding everywhere. As I slide already and halfway through the first lap. <laughs> what a mess I am. This U-turn is going to be tight for people. I see brake lock up up there. Everybody's good. The 10 car is taking it really wide, trying to get some speed out of it. Don't know if it really helped them or not. Oh, this fast straightaway, this last corner is going to be sketchy going up behind people for sure. So I want to try and slow down a little early so we don't overshoot it into the back of the 10 or anything. Maybe just take it in second gear instead of dropping in the first like we normally do. That'll probably be better on our tires, honestly. I kind of braked a little earlier than uh, normal, but they weren't, like, sketchy at all in front of me. This first turn gives me so much problems. Like, these first two turns are so bad for me. Oh, gas it up too hard. Let's not do that. At least we saved it. <laughs> And if you notice the uh, the two marker on the walls, it's just a backwards five. They literally use a five and the two for the same thing. Okay, I'm sliding around everywhere like I'm on dirt or something. We need to calm the hell down. Because this is bad. One off court. One off One's court. off course. Watch the car. Did he break his car? Yeah, he's off now. Okay, so that's a spot for us. I'll take it. Oh, never mind. We're losing all those spots. Try and get a little bit more of an opening. Don't reckon to me, guys. All right, we're good. <laughs> oh, jeez. I was just trying to uh, back it up so I wasn't so close to the exit of that corner for the main part because I saw, like, a gap towards the back, obviously, uh, in time. Oh, I'm a, such a mess in row course. Expe especially because I just got the track today. Like, I understand the track layout already. That's not the hard part. Just controlling the car and knowing how much speed you need is my problem the track layout is actually pretty easy to uh, get here which is nice but I am an absolute squirrel in this I thought we were gonna get a free spot instead I went to the back <laughs> only person that didn't get by us was 15th place so we're gonna be in like 13th right now because the one guy got out of the car and then the 12 car behind us so we'll see if anybody else will mess up in front of us and whatnot Hopefully some do. We're going to take these curves quite big because we're in second gear. Not trying to take that in first gear right now. <laughs> Just because I don't want to get more sideways. First gear is definitely tough. Oh, somebody's off in turn one there. I think they're waiting for all the cars to go by. Number 13 car. Yeah, he came back on track right there. He was sitting there for... Don't freaking gas it too hard. Apparently I need to uh, shift up early there. That is a problem of mine right now. Okay, just we need to just stay in second gear and go slow apparently, so I don't spin out. Because I am a fucking awful at this right now. I like the challenge, but I suck at it. 
Okay, second gear doesn't want to turn either. Okay, so that's that's one problem. I need to drop it to first gear to get the car turning, and then once we're in the corner and we're fine, I can upshift. And we'll just have a slow exit. That seems to be the play, I guess. Just so we don't spin it out anymore. And we'll see if more people can go off in front of us. Because I kind of have like my brake markers for most corners. It's the exit of the corners I am really bad at. That one in first gear is not awful because I know not to like gas it up doing a U-turn obviously while I'm turning a ton. But off the S's is where I'm really bad just because I'm trying to get speed on the exits for the straightaway and I just gas it up a little bit too hard or I hit the rumble strips too much and the car gets up in the air and whatnot. This corner is nice and fast. I like it. I'm okay taking that one in second uh, gear. It's still pretty quick for the most part. But I, I take that thing so aggressively. Probably badly. Somebody spun around up here. The 11 car. So we're going to get by them. They spun out. They were in ninth. It seems like everybody in ninth keeps spinning out. I spun out in ninth. The 13 car spun out in ninth. ninth. Now the 11 car spun out in ninth. Ninth is a very cursed uh, position right now in our race, it seems like. Because everybody that keeps getting it keeps spinning out once they, when they're in it. I think I was technically in eighth at the time, but uh, I spun out when, when in the relative it still said I was in ninth. So that's where I'm going off of what, what it says on the relative at least. We're catching up to these two up here though. But I love how I said I'm going to take care of my tires and try not to spin them so I don't spin out in this race and immediately spun out in this race. <laughs> of course, that's what I'm going to do. Makes sense, doesn't it? When you try to overcompensate for something to not do it, you tend to end up doing them. That ends up happening a lot, I feel like. Like you overthink it and you like just really mess yourself up in a way. I should be able to catch up a decent bit here in this last corner, I feel like, to these two, just because, like, I feel like I take it so aggressively. But I feel like I'm going to wreck in this last corner at one point. Just because I take these bumps so wide. But we're fine. Like, I catch up, like, half a second to these guys, if not a little bit more. Like, that's wild. I take it so aggressively. I try to take this corner not as aggressively. Hey, that was better than what we qualified at. Nice. I'll take it. Really? I shifted up and it got me loose. That was weird. Haven't had that happen before. Like, in the middle of a corner. I guess I was turning too much still for that. I don't know. I've never had that happen. Yeah, I can really get on throttle right there, but I'm definitely losing time to them in front of me. Like, I need to just get better at the throttle control in first gear, because first gear is definitely faster with the torque on the car. I just need to get better at barely getting it on throttle and stuff. 15's holding up the 13 a little bit. 13's trying to get by. 15 allows them. Trying to be smooth on throttle right there. Hopefully we can maybe get by this 15 car on this long straight going into the last corner because we were really fast into the last corner or through the last corner I should say. Well that's not going to happen. Did not have a good enough run off that exit. We're going to be like right on their bumper off this final corner I think. He's going to be maybe taking a look to the inside of the 13 potentially. 13 is trying to protect. This is going to be interesting. I don't want to be like too close to him or anything. Ow. And ow again. <laughs> oh, we'll be fine. We'll get rid of that black flag, no problem. We're going slow enough. <laughs> I got an off track for jumping the damn white uh, barrier. And then I hit the damn wall hard as hell there. So what do we get? A 2x for all that, I think? I don't think we got a 3x because they were like very rapid. 
So I think it just took the 2x overall. I don't think we hurt the actual car. We got damage on the front end. We do have damage on the front end, okay. Right damage right side and front end, so like right front overall. I took that way too fast. I do think we're faster than this guy in front of us at least, so we can get him. Almost did it again. I think that's that same corner where I spun out earlier. I do think it's that corner where I spun out. 15 car almost did it as well. He's taking it super easy into these corners though. Probably why he's getting a better exit than us, honestly. He didn't on that one at least. I hope he goes right just so I don't plow into the back of him. I'm gonna break early. So I don't want to get in the back of him. Looks like he has some right front damage too, it looked like. Too much throttle. Still wanted to spin out when we got straight. Car number two took the lead, Aiden. Solid, solid on Aiden. He's been really fast. He's always fast, regardless of what he runs, it seems like. Oval or road, he's super fast. All right, let's not do the same thing where we jump the damn curbing. The second one, at least, too bad. Because I catch up a ton through that. Even staying in second gear. Don't have to worry about anybody behind us, which is beautiful. Caught up to him in the braking zone there. But he'll pull away from us on the exit, I imagine. Because I'm gonna spin my tires, as always. Yeah, he definitely breaks early for these corners. Like, I'm okay off that corner in first gear, it seems. I keep taking this too fast. So I'm like following him, and that is not the speed I want to be going through that at. Okay, this is what I'm going into second gear for now on, because this is the one I keep like almost spinning out on, and I did spin out on earlier. So that corner I need to keep taking in second gear just so I don't spin it out. And I have to like compensate for his braking early so we don't run in the back of him. Because my braking zone is much deeper than his. I go much deeper than him. Pause. Try and get a run here if we can. Not quite. We're going to be like right on his bumper through these last S's. Oh, jeez. I hate being so, like, on somebody's ass through the, like, in a braking zone and stuff. We're not super close right now, at least, but I know we're going to catch up. We just take that so much better. <laughs> it's crazy. We definitely outbreak him into this first corner, but he's letting us go. Appreciate it. Still there. Clear. And he's backing off, too. This is less than optimal. This is less than optimal. You don't say. I don't know how we're car number six in the top split. Like, out of 30 cars that registered. There really just was not a lot of road guys that oh, registered, man. I guess. Because I only have, like, a 1900 I rating on road. It's not that much at all. Okay, we can take this corner. Oh, not like that. Oh, I got a 4X already. Okay, that's what we have. How do we have a 4X? All I did was off track and smack the wall. That does not equal a 4X ever. Thank you. Oh, I guess uh, they're catching a lap car or maybe they're battling for the lead. I don't know. I don't know what he's saying that to. All right, overshot that. All right, we fixed it. We didn't go off track. I'll probably lose some safety in this race, but that's fine. We have like a we had a Ford like 99 safety in the Gen 4 race. Lost a little bit getting a 4X in that one, but we had like a 31 lap race at Watkins yeah, Glen, and I had a 4X and we lost. Yeah, car one took the lead. Now he might see how I take this corner and why I catch him so much. <laughs> like he catches me so much on the exits of corners and stuff like that. Like I'm so bad at that, but. I'm just like a lot better in the braking zone, it seems. Cause I try not to over brake, so I don't lock up the tires or anything. 
Try and keep it nice and straight. He kept up with us for the most part. Actually, no, we we uh, he was at like a second, so we still pulled away. 47.304. 47 is pretty slow, but tires are getting a little bit more worn out. So that's expected in a way. That was a solid exit there, trying to keep speed and take it wide. But yeah, road racing does get kind of boring to me because it gets so spread out. Like this feels like a practice session at this point then. And yeah, not hit that wall. But I just have to keep in the mindset like, yeah, we're still in a race. Oh, downshifted early. Thank God we saved it. Felt it really fast. Really bad through that section right there all the time. I'm so nervous about that exit every time. We only have a couple laps left though, nice. Like, I think next time by will be three laps left. And only spin it, oh yeah, we spun out earlier, that's how, okay, never mind, I'm stupid. That's how we ended up with a 4X. Lost control for the spin out and then the 2X for the wall hit. That is why we are at a 4X. That makes 100% sense now. I was very confused how an off track and a wall hit equaled 4X, because I thought it just took the 2X, which, it did, but we already had a 2x previously to that, so that makes a lot of sense to me now. But it doesn't seem like we're going to catch the 13 car. And we have about like three laps left here. We're pulling away from the 15 behind us now, which is really nice. We pulled away a lot in that uh, lap. Really just taking this nice and easy. But uh, I'm just going to skip ahead and see if anything else happens for you guys so you're not just sitting here watching a boring race at this point. And I'm just going to try to lock in, see what we can do, and see if we catch up anybody, catch up to anybody in these last couple laps. All right, we're on the white flag coming around this last U-turn for the long straight to finish, and we've been catching everybody in front of us. Like, I think when I left, the 13 was like 8.8 .8 ahead of us, and Kevin and them were like 17 seconds ahead, but they dropped down to like 15, 14 a minute, like a second ago earlier in the lap. Like, we've been absolutely flying these last couple laps. Try and hit this right one last time. That's so satisfying when you do it. Like, look how much I caught up to the 13. Like, he might have been taking it pretty easy, but I was catching people up ahead of me, too. I was running, like, 146, 147 consistently. So, like, that like, that was solid. We were really fast there towards the end. I really, I really wish I wouldn't have screwed up and uh, spun ourselves, because I really feel like we could have... Uh, Man, what were they saying? Uh, 87 rears, 87.90. What were ours? I kind of spun. Oh, mine were not nearly as worn out, so that's probably part of it, too. But, uh, slow downs are ridiculous here. Oh, yeah. I got one of them. But, uh, how much did that one lap slow us down? I'm real interested to see. Because we spun out. It was, like, right here. We got a 159. When we could have had, like, 14 seconds faster. That would have put us right around where Kevin and Brock were, I think. So I think we could have finished around 8th, 9th, 10th for sure. Definitely 10th for sure. But we would have been right up there with them if uh, we didn't spin out. Because we were in front of uh, Kevin when we spun. Don't know where Brock was, but we'll go through, see any of the incidents that did happen. You'll see my dumbass uh, spin out. Other than that one spin out, I felt really good on the race. That was a lot of fun. 12 car, just took it too fast, got the wall there. I don't know why the... Audio is so damn silent right now. It's crazy. He's gonna spin out where I did. Oh, he almost did. I don't know why there was an incident for that though. This is lap four. It already passed where I spun out. L uh, Eleven car spinning out in the turn one. I remember seeing that because I think we're coming up uh, right back there somewhere. But it didn't show me spinning out. I'm shocked. This is the nine car. Is he gonna get the wall or something on the exit? Just uh, tail slap it a little bit. <laughs> Eleven car blowing that corner. That was behind us because we were just going by there. That's definitely going to be a slowdown, I think, even with the sl with him slowing down through that. We were behind both of these guys. I oh, right here is where I smacked the wall behind him, I think, hard as shit. Because I took this corner a little too tight, went straight over that. That was a 1x for one, but I completely was up in the air. Then w couldn't get the car turned. Oh, my goodness. How far off the ground were we? That's wild. Oh, yeah, I think TV3 is good for this corner. Like, I was, like, off the damn ground right there. That's hilarious. Then we smacked the wall really hard. <laughs> that was pretty funny. 12 car going wide off of the second turn, and then gassing it up, spinning it. That's a tough corner for sure. 10 car. 
drift in this corner. Oh, almost drifted it. <laughs> 11 car drifting back here. Trying to keep his foot in it to do a 360, but he only all he, all he did was do a 180. Gets off into the sand trap. Keep your foot in it. You won't get stuck. <laughs> and then the race is done. So he's like, screw this. I'm out of here. But that was a tough race, man. We finished 11th. Definitely going to lose some I-rating, but I'm not worried about that on the roadside. But it was fun. Good run by Chad getting 6th out of that. Barry got 5th. Aiden ended up getting 2nd out of that. Good win by Marlon. I'm, I'm guessing that's how you say his name. Marlon. I don't know. Sorry if I'm mispronouncing it. But good race with uh, uh, Craig there for a second. Alexander getting ahead of us. But, man, we were fast there the last few laps. I was very happy with how we were doing like consistently a 147 146 what were the actual leaders running at that point 144 is the threes it seems like so yeah we weren't as fast as them by any means yeah they were so fast holy crap what was third place at that point he ran some 145s i'm just trying to see like where i could stack up those last few laps still slower than fourth place there what was barry running towards the end still fashion us he had that 148 but then other than that 145s Chad, could we, could we have ran with Chad there towards the end? No, he was still more consistent than us. Damn. Yeah, we definitely would have been like around eighth-ish. He, he messed up the last few laps, it looks like. We were definitely faster than him the last couple. And then uh, these guys, we were definitely catching them around those last few laps. He had a 145 in there. Yeah, we were catching Kramer too. So we were a lot faster than some of those guys. We could have definitely finished right around 8th, ninth area, I believe, if uh, I didn't spin out like a dumbass. But hopefully you guys uh, enjoyed that. Let's go see what we end up getting out of the results. All right, we lose 33. I think we literally gained like 35 in the uh, Gen 4 race, so I'm completely fine with that. That's like a net. That's like a, a net zero for uh, for the week, so or the weekend to this now. So I'm fine with that. Uh, I wish we wouldn't have spun out. That would that would have been a lot better if we didn't spin out or smack the damn wall hard as hell. That probably hurt our car a little bit too. But uh, either way, it was a lot of fun. I might run this again just because I feel feel like we had some speed there towards the end. And if I don't spin myself out early, I think we can get a decent result. So uh, good racing with a lot of the guys that we were around. Everybody kept it super clean, which was nice. I didn't see anybody punt anybody else. And uh, it was very respectable. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the race. Appreciate you guys for watching as always. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.